Welcome back. So let's chat, ladies. Should couples get married when they're broke? Is there a time financially when it's better to tie the knot? <laughs> broke is relative. Uh, right. Yeah, <laughs> that's true. That is so true. I, I think they, I think it's good. I think it's okay. If if couple is is ready to get married, you know, you don't have to have the big fancy, you know, spend tens of thousand dollars on a wedding. You know, what what that's not why people get married. It shouldn't be a reason why. You don't people think get there should be some sort of financial stability along with the emotional stability of the relationship to but build can, your future. But financial on? stability is something that you're always working towards. Right, right. You know, once you get to a place where you're comfortable, you're always still looking to move to another place where you can get more comfortable and look for a place. So it's evolving. Your right. financial relate your financial well, I know my finances are evolving. <laughs> I don't know about evolving. All right. But to Madison's point, I think in a marriage what happens you do is you you decide you know you should talk about it yeah. you should talk about have that conversation before you get married hey listen this is where we are financially okay, yeah, yeah yeah enough with the you should what did you and your husband do like, tell we me were, about that conversation we were broke <laughs> <laughs> we were broke we didn't have a house um he was just getting out of graduate school i was working so he didn't have a job um but we knew that picture going in so we got a little apartment did he have we a were, ring when he proposed to me, we did not have a ring. No. We could not afford to have a ring. Really? Right. So we didn't get one until 90 days before we got married. But we talked about it. See, that's the difference. We knew our picture going in. It wasn't like there was some expectation that he had a million dollars in the bank that he was hiding. And I think that's what's missing. People are not having the conversation. Well, but I think a lot of men, even, you know, guys I've been in relationships with in the past have said, you know, I love you, but I've got to make a little more money, get myself financially stable before we build a future. And I'm wondering, is that an excuse because he doesn't really want to build a future or is he really concerned about his finances? Yes. I, th I think um, for most men, they are concerned about their finances. Men think about it more than women do. They want to see them. They visualize and see themselves, at least I think, in a way where they are successful and they're doing this and then they got the ring and then they got the girl. and the, So they have a different way of visualizing what marriage or weddings look like. As opposed to women, we'll just jump in. Right. right. Oh, oh, yeah. It doesn't right. matter. But where's my twisty tie for a <laughs> ring? Right. I love yeah. my men. Yeah. Yeah. However, I did meet a woman who had said to um, a, fr a male friend of mine, she pulled out this picture in Cosmopolitan of this ring that was worth about $50,000 plus. Ooh. And she tore it out and she said, don't ask me to marry you until you can get me this. See, there's a lot of women out there who are like that, mm -hmm. who want to make sure their man can afford their lifestyle that they want for themselves. Absolutely. Now, at the, at the time, I was yes. like, okay, this is a bit shallow. However, at the same time, is it, like, is it shallow? Because she just knows what she wants and she's honest yes, about it. Yes, on the flip, side, on the flip side, she was honest. She, she, she was let honest. him know, That's look, true. this is the kind of life I want to live in. If you can't give it to me, don't ask me to marry you. That's true. She good. should give it to herself. <laughs> well, that's what I'm saying. well, good that she was honest, but also as women, we have to identify potential, right? Mm -hmm. Where my husband and I are financially today, we weren't 22 years ago. Yeah. But again, we had the conversation together. across the road. So sometimes as women, I'm going to caution the $50,000 ring early okay. when it's not going to be sustainable. But, <laughs> but also, it, what your vision of marriage may be different from someone else's. Right. My vision of marriage when I, when I got, got married was, and I remember saying this to my ex, saying, you know what, as long as we're happy, I'm okay if we live in a, in a trailer park. Okay, right. so now, I want to talk later on, Years later, I get that repeated back to me <laughs> as in, I didn't know that you wanted me to buy the trailer park. Well, no, but see, like, I, I'm even <laughs> like, nervous. Bro. I'm nervous to have that conversation Why? about finances. And, Why? well, I mean, I don't really want to share all of my secrets. But what, what? My purchases are like, I, I just, for some reason, it makes me very, very nervous and very hesitant Wait, to be completely what secrets open. Are you but, keeping? Yeah. Well, no, no, no I'm not necessarily secrets, but I mean, debt, I feel like a man who wants to marry me is like, ah, oh, but I don't want to be responsible for all her baggage. So I you feel that he'll reject Student you. loans, okay. car payments, et cetera, because I feel like that is just kind of a Okay, I, I'm a little old fashioned that way, I think, but when I think when you have a marriage, you are Absolutely. marrying. You're marrying. Your, yes, your financial life. Life, along with your emotional life. Okay, along but with speaking with your emotional life, then if you're not as financially stable, does mm -hmm. that cause more problems in your relationship? But I, I think it's where you put no. the emphasis. No, you know what? It doesn't. It, yeah. You're right. It's where you put the emphasis. Again, you asked me, and I'll go back to, we didn't have a lot. We didn't have a lot. But what we had, and don't dismiss this, ladies, is we talked but, about what our future was going to look like mm -hmm. together. And we said we mm -hmm. only make mm -hmm. X amount of money. And we worked in those means. And I know people, And I didn't put pressure on him. I know couples who have had a lot of money, and they spent that money ignoring each other. Right. And mm -hmm. it didn't help them in their marriage. 
it's it's That's powerful. it's really mm -hmm. relative, and I think I love it. It's really relative. You have a million dollars, you don't love each other. You have a yeah, dollar, you, for, can, you, you can afford to spend more time away from you each other. You can ignore your burrito, <laughs> but you're happy because you look in each other's eyes. <laughs> <laughs> uh, on that note, we'll be back with more Everyday Woman. Stay tuned. I can tuned. buy my own trailer park now. Absolutely.